What is up guys, JGP Aquatics here. Another video, uh, I wanted to do a quick, you know, brief video of the foods I feed my flower horn and, uh, you know, just varieties of food I feed my flower horn and how to maintain your flower horn really healthy, you know? Because I feel like that's the main priority is their diet. So yeah, man, let's get into it. Uh, Dorothy and Dexter in the background right now. You can see, chilling, chilling. Um, I was gonna do a 10% water change today, but I feel like it's too much. Um, I did uh, do a water change yesterday on both tanks, and today I'll probably do like a 10% water change later on tonight. So I'll put that aside, but anyways. Um, back to the video. So here I have one, two, three, four, five foods that I feel I like, you know, it's not really a drastic changing foods. Like, you know, there's certain foods that change their color, change their brightness in a matter of like seconds, like right after they eat them. And I'm not really up for that. I'm more about health and I, I just want the fish to be healthy and in the right, you know, just in the, in, in the right, I don't want them to be unproportional, if that makes sense. I don't want them to be too big for their age. Cause I've seen some flower horns that are like, literally like two, three months, and they're huge, man. Like their head is huge, their colors are bright, they're beautiful, don't get me wrong, but they just, I feel like it's like steroids, you know? I feel like it's just forcing the fish to grow, and I'm not really up for that. That's more for competition grade fish. And My fish, however, I have tried, you know, power feeding him, and uh, he's gotten he's gotten really sick. So I learned my lesson, and I hope, you know, I just want other people if they're ever interested in fish, you know, to actually take the time and, you know, look up and research what foods actually affect their body in the positive, negative way, you know, vice versa. So anyway, let's get into it. The first food that I was feeding them is the cichlid gold. Uh, this one I was a fan of at first. Um, it did get him to the size that I wanted, the thickness that I wanted, but a lot of people don't know is it's really high in protein. Uh, that's one thing people won't tell you. You know, if you go to a fish store, they tell you tell them I have cichlids. They're gonna give you probably 80% of the chance, like 80% of 80% of the time, they're gonna give you this food because you said cichlid, and that's what they're, you know, re relevant to. Oh, or probably that's what they feed them at that fish store. So, anyways, that's that. I feel like that's more of like a basic cichlid food. If you really want to go into depth or more into exotics. Um, I did, however, throw this in their diet. is uh, dry shrimp, freeze-dried shrimp. This is very good in protein, uh, rich in minerals. Uh, you know, it just, you know, it doesn't have bacteria or parasites and it's all, it's great for all amphibians, so. I like this one. This one literally is like catnip. You give it to them and they just, they just go crazy, man. They just want more and they're just swimming. It's crazy. Um, the shrimp, I do recommend freeze-dried shrimp and this one however I did pick up this one Southern Delight um, it's a veggie tail it's called veggie tail by Southern Delight but this is especially for flower horns I don't know if you, can, you can probably see that big old flower horn right there so this one enhances their colors their bio wellness aqua vitamins and such growth this one is more big on growth so when I whenever I see him a little skinny whenever I see them a little you know if I see them a little skinny, I give them probably one or two of these. These are pretty strong, so as soon as I give it to them, man, they poop it right out. It's kind of crazy, but the next one that I did pick up that I paid a lot for, I paid almost 40 bucks for this bag. It's a pretty big bag, though, so if you compare it, it was kind of worth it. It's a big old bag, but they're really small palettes. But this one is in chances their uh, their red color, so it's for blood parrots. Um, this bl the blood parrot is actually this fish right here. So it's not a flower horn, but um, flower horns are a type of blood parrot, you know? So, you know, I give them these, I give them probably like two or three of these. Well, not even, I give them one each because this stuff is really strong. Like it's so strong. As soon as I give it to them, I gave them, the, the first time I got it, I gave them three or four and their colors, like their gills just burst it out with red. I'll show you in a bit. I'm gonna feed them in a bit, so. I am going to feed them in this video, however, by the way, sorry. But yeah, that's the blood parrot food. Good for red, and chances are red colors, but I feel like it kind of burns their insides because it has 
you know, big old chili right there. It's a chili pepper. Well, that's what enhances our colors, you know. Same thing with uh, actual parrots, you know, talking parrots. If you give them chile, like, you know, chile cascabel or dried chile, they'll start talking and react to it, you know, even changes the color of their feathers. So yeah, the next one that I'm a huge fan of that I just switched to is Mass Effect by Excalibur. This one, hands down guys, is the best food. Excalibur in general, um, my friend, uh, somebody I have online, he introduced me to this food. Uh, sorry if I forgot your name, I will tag you in this, by the way. But yeah, this food, man, I, I, I can never go wrong. As soon as I gave it to them, you know, they, they were acting normal. They didn't, they didn't really, they, had, they, didn't, they didn't have a hard time chewing the food. And that's one big thing, because I mean, if you see the size of this palette, I mean, if you see the size of this palette compared to the size of this one, it's like, damn, it's freaking huge. And this one's already, these are already getting old, man. Yeah, you see the difference. This is the Excalibur and this is the Cyclic Gold. So yeah, I mean, it's just humongous. So I just feel like it was just too much food for them. And that's the reason why my Dexter got sick, so I did stop giving him that and I switched to this and I was just giving him, when he got sick, I gave him like one pallet a day. It, it sounds horrible, but that's what I had to do, you know, because I did not over, want to overfeed him at all, at all. So yeah, this one, uh, I just spilled them, wow. So this one has 57% protein, 4% fat, 4% fiber, formulated to increase head size and enhance body shape half a pound so yeah I paid mm, I would say I think I paid like $22 for this one like 20 bucks 18 bucks something or something something around there but yeah it wasn't that expensive it's worth it because man I'm telling you they eat they gobble these things up like it's nothing so yeah let's go feed them actually uh, I do have them waiting because I had just gone off work and I was gonna feed them so Let's go do that. Uh, I'm gonna feed them, I'm gonna feed them some shrimp and the Excalibur. So yeah. Let's do this real quick. I'll show y'all how I feed them. These guys are pretty, pretty hungry right now. He's just attacking me, look at this. He's hungry. Hungry? I got you, buddy. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna put y'all down. Put you down right here. Boom. So, yeah. I'm gonna feed them. I will hold the camera right here. And yeah, we're gonna feed them. I give Dorothy about three pallets. Oh, 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 there we go, all right, ladies first, so I always feed her first, he always gets mad, and I feed him three, I do have to get him uh, some medicine though, because he has been, he hasn't really, really recuperated from his things, so. get him a little shrimp, And I honestly don't even give him a big shrimp because you don't really want to overfeed your fish, guys, by the way. I feed my fish three times a day, and I feel like they're happy. You know, they're satisfied. I always feed them before I go to sleep. So I feel like at night they get hungry for some reason. They're always up and about. I'm going to give him a little shrimp, and this is the little shrimp I give him. It's just a little dry shrimp, not too much. Give him that. Watch him gobble that up. Boom. Alrighty. Then I give her her shrimp. It's pretty big for her, but it fills her up. She loves to eat. Look at her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you get it? Uh, I think it got stuck, guys. <laughs> oh no, she got it. Did she get it? 
The food always gets stuck right there. So yeah. So yeah, man, that's Dexter and Dorothy eating. Hungry little suckers. But yeah, guys, thank y'all guys for tuning in. You know, more videos up. I know I'm sorry about this quality, about me just grabbing the camera and dragging it everywhere. I am gonna, you know, do try to change it up. I have my camera. I just need to buy the equipment. And I have been doing it. It's all in good time, guys. So bear with me. I really hope y'all, you know, comment, rate, and subscribe. My videos are going to be better. I promise. I promise, guys. Just bear with me. I just want y'all to stick, stick, stick with it. You know, just stick with it with me. And when my videos get better quality and good editing, you know, it's all, it's all uphill from there. So, yeah. Thank y'all, guys. Dexter, Dorothy. I don't know if you want to say bye. Say bye, guys. Oh, they just want more food. Whatever. Alrighty, guys. Thank y'all. JGP Aquatics, we are out. Peace.